Now then, hopefully, we should be live. I need confirmation from someone that you can see me and that I'm live. So, I've got my son on the side, keeping an eye on the screen, because it's a bit far away from me. Osh, can you see anybody joining us yet? No, yet. Nobody joining us yet. What does it say in the red, Osh, up in the top left of the screen? Oh, uh, there's somebody there, Osh. What's that in green? Ryan Reese joined. Ryan Reese have joined. Ryan, can you confirm that you can see me, please, my friend? Because we had a bit of issues with the live feed on my computer. What's happening there, Osh? Carly Possible. Carly's joined us. Can I just have somebody confirm that you can see me, please, guys? I got a thumbs up from somebody, Osh. Who's yeah. the thumbs up from, Osh? I don't know, it doesn't say. It will say, look. You've got, to, you've got to keep your eye on the screen. I just want to make sure this is all working, guys. New comment. Stephen did. I can see you, mate. Craig Smith. Hi, Ash. Donna Jones. There we are, Osh. We're live. Everyone? We're good. And we're ready to go. Everyone's loving it, Dad. My God. Guys, I'm so sorry. I was ready for this just after 5 to 8, but we've had murder. We can see. Carly. Hello, darling. Um, here we go, guys. I don't know about you guys, but this COVID-19 is testing my, uh, my anxiety levels. I didn't realise, uh, I don't know if I've ever had any mental health issues, but it's trying something with me because it stressed me out the last few days. But luckily I've had my wife to keep me going. And i um, been doing a lot of work around here to keep my mind off things. It, it's, it's mental. I've never known anything like this in my lifetime. But let's brush that aside and let's see if we can have a bit of fun with you guys. So we'll start with something to do with what I was doing this afternoon. I went out with Osh and uh, I want you to keep an eye on the comments for me just in case somebody's saying something yeah. and they want me to speak to them, okay? Alright Osh? Yeah. You've got to be like my pair of eyes because I can't mm -hmm. read that screen that close, right? Yeah. And all you've got to do is if you use the mouse you can move those comments up and down to read them, right? As long as you don't press the red one down the bottom. So Osh and I he came with me in the car, now don't panic, he's with me, right? And I've not um, put him in any danger whatsoever. He joined me in the car, and it was only him and I here, but I left him in the car while I started, went into the supermarket, did a bit of shopping, asked one of the, the girls in Tesco's, and I said, look, with this COVID-19, we're all on a bit of lockdown and it's driving everybody insane. I said, I got an active... Who's become a teenager and um, I need to get him into exercising. Exercising. You know, he's done his star jumps and he's running. Just leave that. Gosh, I'll have a look through. Yeah, I'll have a look through him in a bit. Guys, I'm going to come in in a sec and I'm going to scroll through all the comments and I'm going to have a look at what you're saying because I can't read them from where I am by here, right, guys? Let me tell you the story now. So we went to Tesco today, right? And I said to them, I need something to get my boy into exercising. I said, something different, something unusual. She said, have you ever tried him with skipping? <laughs> I said, you what? She said, have you ever tried him with skipping? And I said, to be honest, I haven't thought about skipping, no. She said, we've had some new skipping ropes in. Great now for the kids, whilst the kids are off school. Get them into skipping. We got them in all different lengths, all different sizes for individual needs. We got them really long if you've got a few kids and you can have a game in the garden. And I thought, my God, I remember that when I was a kid. We'd all one end of the rope each and spin it around and you'd have to jump over the skipping rope in and out and over your head and under. And that brilliant idea. Let me get him a skipping rope, I said. Right. I said, he's um, 11 years old. I, he's a little bit shorter than me, I said. What size have you got? She said, well, look, I'll show you, she said. Come with me. She picked up a skipping rope off the shelf. She said, we've had him in all sizes. She said, we've got him in this size. I said, no, that's not going to be no good for us. She said, he's a little bit taller than that. Apparently, it needs to be about the length of your leg. I know you can't see my leg, but that don't matter. So she said, well, look, I can do it in this size for you as well. I got them, she said. They're just around the corner. Said... No, I think that's a bit too short. She said, okay, how about we do it in this size here? I said, that's not far off, Osh, but I, I compared it to my leg. I said, that's almost up to my thigh, but I said, it's, it's not quite the length I need for my son. I said, he's almost as tall as me. 
Can we go? She said, what about this one? We'll go one longer, this one. I said, oh my goodness. That's it. That's perfect. That's the perfect length. That's the one I need. She looked at me. She scratched her head. She said, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, sir. I've got bad news, she said. I was hoping you wouldn't have that one or that length. I said, why not? She said, because um, we've sold out to that length. And I said, you've what? We've sold out to that length, she said. I said, but that's the length I need for my son. She said, I can do it a bit longer or a bit shorter. I said, no, no, I need this. I need this length. And I said, he's out in that car. He's stressed. He's doing my neck. And I said, you know, anxiety levels are through the roof. I said, I've got to get in the right side, skip it open. I said, that's the perfect length. She said, I tell you what, let me see what I can do with this for you. She had a marked up a tenner. I said, well, it's not bad for tenner, but I mean, that's not the right one. She said, look, we're going to, we're going to, Let's, let's, let's try this, she said. Let's, let's take the loop and we'll tie a knot in it like this, she said. And she said, how is that? She said, that's the right length for your son. I said, well, look, I said, we'll have to, um, we'll have to see if we can move that loop across a bit because that's not really in the right place because I said, I, I need it so, it so it's the same. And she said, well, look, all right. Look, she said, there we are, the ends are the same. I said, it's my OCD player. She said, look, the ends are the same. I've tied, I, I, I've tied that extra loop up for you like this, she said. I tell you what, sir, I, I, as I haven't got any of them, you'll have to take this one. She said, I can do you this one. I'll, 10%, £9. I didn't pay £9 for that. So I tell her I'm not 20% off. I can't do no more. Eight quid. Eight quid for the skipping rope. With a loop in it. Now hang on now a minute. Now I said, look, problem I got you now, right, is I want him to start exercising. But I said, if he starts exercising with this skipping rope and with that loop in the bottom, I said, I'm going to have to be ringing an ambulance for the A and E. And I don't think at the present time, I said, well, what's going on in the world? I'm going to get an ambulance anytime quick. And I said, I know it, I, I know skipping is a bit of a dangerous sport, but I said, you know, I want him to be able to. To be able to skip over this rope, and she said, Right, I'll fix the problem for you. So out the back she went, come back with Tesco's best scissors, and she said, How about we take this loop and we'll cut it just there for you? She said. So now she said, There's no loop for him to trip over. <laughs> oh, sorry, I don't know if this woman was up in the arm, but I mean, I said, hang on a minute now. You've just kept the skin in rope, I said, on the loop. And now I said, I've got two long tassels that'll take his eyes out. She said, I can sort that out for you, sir. I said, how can you sort out two long tassels? He starts skipping with that, they're going to take his blinking eyes out. She said, I'll sort that out for you, sir. She said, look. She said, look, look, look. we'll take a tassel like this. And she said, I don't know you, so I'll be laughing on you. <laughs> I don't know. She said, this honest to God, gosh, this is for the woman in, in Tesco's down here. Yeah. And she said, we can tie that one up over there like this. And if we take this tassel as well, she said. And she said, we can tie this one up over here like this. I said, oh, I said, I come in here. I said, for a skipping rope, not a pair of sunglasses. I said, what have we done to my skipping rope? She said, I got rid of the tassels for you, she said. I've tied them up. Stop. Stop it now. Does anybody think we're having fun? Mm. I said, what have we done to the skipping rope? I started off with a loop. I said, you cut that. And then she took the two tassels and she tied them up. And she said, I was after you. Perfect length for your son. Eight pounds, she said. Look, she said, there's other customer service. I said, whoa, whoa, no, I was here before then. She said, well, this is what you need. This is the skipping rope you need. I said, no, that's not good to me, darling. I said, no, it's got two loops in it. And we sat off one. Right, I sold it out. She said, it's always one like you in a shop. So she took the scissors like this. And she cut through a swim. And she took the scissors. And she... I swear to God, oh, she says, what she did, the man. And I'm looking at this woman. And 
I don't quite get what she's showing me on. I said, what are we doing now? I said, I've got a skipping rope with three knots in it. Quite long tassels, and if he starts skipping, I said, that's three times dangerous. I said, you've not seen my boy. I said, if there's a match stick in the road, he'll trip over it. I said, I can't decide those tassels are going to take his eyes out. She said, right, we'll do this now. Just for you, sir. We'll cut these as short as we can get them. So she cut that one like this. Then she cut this one like this. And then last but not least, she cut the last tassel. I said, look, no, that's not bad, is it? But it's got three knots in it. And to be honest with you, I just wanted a brand new skip and open the size that I asked for. She said, but I didn't say I would have just spoke to me and I would have sold it for you. Hang on, rewind about 10 minutes. I'm sure I said to you that I wanted a skipping rope in the right size. She said, look, if you'd have said, all I would have done was give it a bit of magic and you'd have had a skipping rope in the right size. I said, how's that work? She said, you go, you give it a pull like that, she said, and you end up with a skipping rope in the right size for your son. I said, you were mad with the I said, for your time, I'll give you the full 10 pound. She said, no problem, so take it and check out and it's all yours. So that's for you, Osh, to start some skipping with, okay, Osh? Yep. We've got to get rid of all these bits now, Osh. All these bits are rope, they're no good. Anyway, how are we all, guys? I hope that's a nice little opener for you. Um, right, let's see, let's see who I've got here. Excuse me for going off camera a sec. I'm going to see who we've no, got. Saying, hi. New comments, Osh. We've got 93 new... Oh, my God. I got 93 new comments. How are we all, guys? I hope you're good. Here we are. Lloyd, love you down in 10, be my friend. Oh, Harry's watching. What are we doing, baby? Um. That's what happened with the skipping rope today, guys. So, onwards and upwards. How are we doing time wise? Ah, it doesn't matter, Osh. We've been on 12 minutes, 67 watches. Right. Now then, I want somebody that's watching me live to help me with something. Now, can we do this through a camera? Can we do this through a screen? Osh, I want you to watch the comments for me. Yeah. And when somebody jumps on and says they'll help Osh, we're going to use that person to help us out with something. Mandy Jones, we've got to put, we've got, look, gosh, we've got to be careful what we're doing, right? Because we don't want that. We want to press new comments. Mr. Jenkins, how are you, sir? Hello from Blackwood. I like it. Good. How are you? John, how are you, my friend? I want somebody to say, I'm in. The first person that says to me, I'm in, is going to help me with something. You're sending me all these comments and I can't read them from over there. Saffron was going to... Uh, I have a relaxing bath. Then you went live. That's a relaxation. Bloody Jones. Manuel. So then, Mandy. Mandy, we're going to try something with a pack of the cards. Okay, love? Now, I tried to prepare this afternoon when I knew we were going to go live. And I said to Osh, Make sure you sold out my, my cards for me, Osh. And I've got a pack of cards in your hand. And I'm going to send... Pack, pack of cards, Osh. You left them in the garage, haven't you, Osh? Mm. Why did you do that? Are you any good at magic, Osh? Yeah. Are you, are you good at magic? Really good? Not Just so they can see your hand. Give it a click for me, Osh. Are you good at magic? Kind of. Ah, that's better, Osh, yes. We got our pack of cards, Osh. There they are, there they are. Oh, Osh, I thought you left them in the garage. I thought you left them in the garage. So then, Mandy, I've got a pack of cards just here. Not any pack of cards, though, Mandy. I've done something to them. Now, Mandy, obviously, I know that we met a little while back at a wedding that I was at. Um... And I don't use any stooges in my show. For all those who are watching, this is not set up. I've literally come up with this idea a couple of hours ago of doing a little show for you guys tonight to try and take our minds off what's going on and to have a little bit of fun. Mandy, I want you to think of a playing card. 
And when you've got one, Mandy, I want you to comment. Gosh, I want you to watch the comments again for me. And I want you to comment, Mandy. I've got it. But don't, don't make it an easy card for me, man. I want you to think of the most difficult card that you can. And when you've got it, Mandy, stay with me. I want you to write down there, Mandy. I've got it. And send a thought down through your camera, through my screen, into me, Mandy. It's very important that we do this. If you don't, then I can't do nothing with this pack of cards. Have she commented yet, yeah, Gosh? Not yet. Mandy, come on now, put your finger out. You can't say it, I'm in if you're not in. Uh, I've got it, she say She's it. got it. She's got it. Good girl, now, Mand. Now, do me a favour now. Mandy, concentrate on this card. Send it down to me, Mandy. Send it down to me. Oh, Mandy. Now. Now, Mandy. I've got a card just here in my wallet, inside my jacket. I keep a card. Just you, Mand. I will, um, if I bring this box into view, I will leave the card just there for everybody to see. For the first time, Mandy, and I'm not going to swap this, we're doing this live, so there's no way I can edit it. I'm going to leave that card in view. Mandy, I want you for the first time to write on the computer what card you're thinking of and put it in the comment section, please. And if this is a perfect match, Mandy, this would be good. So we're waiting now, Mandy, all on you, no pressure, but we're waiting for you to write the name of our card in the comment section so we can see what it says. As soon as it comes on, we've got to give it a, you know, it yeah. takes a little bit of a while for the screen to come through. Has she written it yet? No. They're all green. Oh. Seven of clubs. No way, man! The seven of clubs. Of clubs. Do you know this is interesting? We've got a lot of comments going on there, Ash. Haven't we? A lot, lot of comments going on. The seven of clubs. Now, Mandy, let's just confirm. I haven't asked you to send that to me. I didn't ask you to say that. Something off screen earlier on or anything like that. Can you confirm that's your own choice? Once you confirm it, Mandy, just say your own choice. Then we're going to reveal the other side of this bad boy. Mm. Now, this is interesting that Mandy have said she wanted to join in and help us, Osh. Because I met Mandy a few weeks ago, Osh. Mandy's a lovely, lovely lady. Oh, uh, yes. She's in yes. Yes. So there we are. Mandy has confirmed right, that this is not set up. But you see, when I met Mandy, Mandy is an interesting character. Ma Mandy is what we would call one of a kind, okay? Lovely lady. Lovely lady. When Mandy was born, the mold was broken. There isn't another one like Mandy. And you see, Mandy's one of those... Sometimes you know what's going on, and other times it's just... <whistles> and this was the problem, man. Because when you were sending the card, the signal, down through the camera, down through the screen, I was getting absolutely nothing. I know, I know it's bad, I know it's bad. But I mean, Mandy, if that would have been your seven of clubs, that would have been good, yeah? Now you see, there's been a deck of cards here. I come out of the wooden box in view the entire time. And I did something with these cards. I took a card and I turned it over. But my problem was I didn't just turn one card over. I didn't just turn two cards over. We didn't just turn three cards over. I thought, what would be the chance we could find the card that somebody would think of and we could reveal it on the screen? And you see, what I did was I turned over one ace, okay? 
I turned over two aces. I turned over three aces. And I turned over four aces. And I was hoping, man, I was, I was hoping that you'd have named one of these cards. Because the four aces are the most popular cards in a deck. But you see, man, these are not any four aces. Because when I turned over these four aces in that pack of cards, I did something a little bit different with them. On the back of this card, I wrote the word the. On the back of this card, I wrote the word seven. And on the back of this card, I wrote the word of. And on the back of the ace of clubs, we wrote the word clubs. And there would have been no chance. We would have known that Mandy would have chosen the seven of clubs. I hope you like that, guys. It's a little bit different from me. Something for you to have a think about. That we can even do this mind reading right down through the computer. Mr. P, yeah. are you going to help me out with something? Yeah. I'm just going to clear the table a second, Osh. It's getting a little bit cluttered up here. And I'm going to invite Oshan to come and join us on this wonderful Saturday evening we are, Osh. Yeah. Don't know what day of the week it is anymore, Osh. Because every day now is a weekend, Osh. Mm. And um, I'm going to invite Oshan to come and join me just here, Osh. And you can come and say hi to our fellow watchers. And we're going to try a little bit of mind reading with Oshan. And hopefully, Osh, it'll work something like this. Let's clear the table, Osh. Let's move these to the side. And let's move these to the side. So what we've got, Osh, just to demonstrate that we can do mind reading through the computer and we can do mind reading in a one-on-one -on -one situation. Do you understand the term? I know you know a lot about magic, okay? Do you know what a stooge is? No. You don't know what a stooge is? So you know what Mandy just done? If I would have said to you when we were sitting down watching TV early on, when I asked you to pick a card tonight, you've got to pick for me the three of arts. Oh, yeah. But then we don't tell these people, and I say, oh, name a card, and you go, three of arts. And it sounds like a random choice. But really, we've set it up earlier on, right? That's what you call a stooge. That's somebody who's in on it with the magician, okay? Now, you've known me for a long, long time since I've started magic. How many stooges have I ever used in any magic shows that I do? No. When I do my toast, don't look at me frowning like that. That's why I'm asking you. Because yeah. being my boy, I know you're not going to lie to them on camera. I do weddings. I do my corporate events. And you've seen me doing my stage shows. You've seen me at the talent shows. Especially the one when I was blindfolded, where I went tell he's got talent. And how many times when I've been performing, and you've seen me performing, even when I practice alone, do you see me using a stooge? Mm. Do you know why I don't use stooges, Osh? Because I want the magic to be as real as people believe it and as real as you want it to be. Okay? And it's all about how did he do that? How did she do that? I mean, if everybody knew how it was done, Osh, it wouldn't be magic. So what I've got are two books, Osh. Now, when I was setting up earlier on, guys, Osh had said, what's this, Dad? I haven't seen this before. And I was like, that's great, because I can try this with you on screen. I can't do this with somebody on screen, because I need you to write something down for me. What I've got is Roberto Martinez. I seen Scott Landry was watching, YJB, top man. Yes, my bad. Roberto Martinez is the old Swansea City manager. I met him at the Players Awards, and he autographed the book for me. To Ashley, best wishes, best wishes Roberto Martinez. Okay, Osh? And if you look through the book, there he is, look, in a swan shirt, okay? When he played for him. Yeah, yeah, when he played for him. He, um, he played for Wigan Athletic, he played for the Swans, he's managed Everton, Osh, and I think he was the manager of Belgium, I don't know if he still is. But that's one book. Now, you don't have to pick this because you're a Swans fan. That's why I use this book. It's just a genuine 
autobiography. And the other one, Ashley, we're not going to know this lady, but a lot of these people who were watching with is Jade Goody. And for those who remember her, Jade was on uh, Big Brother, Osh. Unfortunately now, sadly, due to um, ill health, Jade is not with us no more. Uh, this is Jade with her family, but she made herself well known from the TV program Big Brother. Okay? Now, when I'm at wedding phase, Osh, this is something I do with people who want to book me for a wedding. And they say, what's the books about? And I'm going to give you, Osh, the same choice that I give everybody. And I don't want to influence your decision. We've got two books. We don't need no more than that. I just want you to decide which book you would like to use. You want to use Roberto Martinez? And that's, I'm guessing, because it's familiar with this one. You can use this one if you like. Yeah. Don't let me influence your decision. Much better, Osh, if you use this one, Osh. Can I change your mind? No. No, there you are. Just so you know, okay? I can't change his mind once he's set in store. It doesn't matter which book you use. I'm just pulling your leg. Okay? Right. We have got pictures and we have got words and I know you're not bad at reading. Okay? And we've got... Let's have a look at this, Osh. 191. Just so people can see it. Just down in the corner, just here. 191 pages. Now this is what we're going to do, Osh. On every page, apart from the pictures, Osh, there's paragraphs, there's lots and lots of words. I'm guessing quite a few thousand words in that book. Let's keep this cover on, Osh, that protects the book. Keeping the cover on, I don't know why it's coming off. Osh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to come this way, we're going to both stay in view of the camera, so they know that there's nothing going on, okay? But I want you to turn the chair a bit more to face me, Osh, because when you open the book then, I can't see what page you're opening at, okay? So I'm just going to stand here and have my back to you, but acknowledge the people on screen. Osh, I need you to turn to any page number that you like. And I want you to have a read, Osh, of a paragraph of a few words for me. Tell, don't tell me the page number. Don't tell me where you are. I'm not even trying to sneak and I'm not even trying to look. I want you to find the page. Have you got a page, Josh? Or do you want to change your mind and go to a different page? I've got a page. You sure you want to stay on that page? Yeah. Good boy, okay? I want you to find a word, Josh. But not a, you know, Josh, not a word like it or the or and or them. Something that's like five, six, seven or eight letters long, Josh. Something that's a bit lengthy. Like with adults, Josh, I ask him to choose a word of seven, eight, nine letters. But I don't know how high your reading is yet. So get a word that makes a bit of sense. Yeah? Like, for example, the book you're on is about Roberto Martinez associated with Swansea City. So you could find the word of Swansea or football, player. That's just examples. Find a nice, longish word that everybody would have heard of. And I want you, once you've got it, make sure you know how to spell it. Yeah. Don't say nothing out loud. Have you got this word in your head? Mm -hmm. Quickly, you can't close the book. Good boy. Right, we're going to try this. I want you, don't even let me pick that book up. You keep hold of the book. You keep hold of the book. You ask me what's the sticky notes for. Yeah? yeah? We're going to do this. Don't, don't panic, don't panic. I'm going to make a little, just lean on the back, okay? Can't lean on this table. You know what Fran's like about her dining table, Osh. We can't make indentations on that. Take the book. Now I need you to write just somewhere in the middle of that sticky note, the word that you thought of. Can I have a pen, please? I give you a pen! You're going to have to put the book down in order to take the lid off the pen now. No, I don't. No, like that, okay. What have we done, Osh? You broke them my pen. You broke them. <laughs> Try out an Osh. Oh, that was our night! Okay, look, 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 watch this, watch this, watch this. I'm going to give you a line. Nice and neatly, because everybody on the screen is going to want to see this. I want you to write the word on that line that you thought of, but keep the book up, Osh. Make sure that I can't see the book, what, where you're writing. And I'm acknowledging you guys, okay? I really can't see what Oshan's doing at this moment in time. Um, Are we done? Can we keep the pen? Keep the book up, Osh, yeah, close the lid on the pen. You pass me the pen back. 
Have you written it down? Yeah. Now I just want you to tear that note off the back, gosh. Don't let me see it, and then just put the book on the table. Good boy. It goes through your cover in the back. Right. Fold it up. So, like this, so just fold it in half. Yeah. Then fold it in half again. Yeah. And just slide it under your leg on the chair for me. Ooh. Now I need you to work your mind. This is difficult for myself, okay? So forgive me a sec. I need you, no, see, yes, stop it out. I need you to work your mind now. No damage in my book, look. Now, you could have turned to any page in this book, yeah? Did I influence your decision? Did I influence your decision? You could have turned to any page. Could have been this page, could have been this page. Think of the page number. I don't know whether you noted it or roughly yeah. where it was. You've got the page number yeah. and you wrote a word down. Mm -hmm. And it's in your head, Josh, mm -hmm. and it's on a piece of paper, but you haven't shown these people yet what word you've written down. Right-handed you are, in you? Because you're left-handed at most. Don't, don't go play with paper. Just leave it there. Just leave it there. In fact, Josh, take the piece of paper and hold it between your hands like this for me. Okay, Josh. Hold it like this, Josh. Nice, nice and square in your hands. Remember that game with Oh, Sorry, sorry. Hold it like that. Hold it like this. Hold it like this. Flat. And just stand up for me. Just stand up. We're going to try this. Oh, I just, I know you too well. I know you too well. Um. This is not a difficult word at all. This is not a difficult word. You know when I was giving you examples? Mm -hmm. That was just examples. You didn't have to actually use one of those words. But you've tried double bluffing me. Mm -hmm. You've tried to call my bluff. Because you've actually used one of the words that I gave you as an example of words you would use in that book. How do I know? Yeah. Hang on. I'm getting, I'm getting the letter A. Is there an A in this word? Yeah. <laughs> and I'm getting an E. Yeah, I In this word? Yeah. The letter, the letter L? It's not in this word. <laughs> and for sure, one thing I'm positive about, Josh, is the letter P is definitely not in this word. <laughs> no. So you didn't pick the word as an example of a player. No. So the only other longish word that I gave you, which you could have gone with to call my bluff, would be the word Swansea. Did you pick the word? In fact, he didn't pick it, I'm telling you guys, but the word on that piece of paper, it's Swansea. Let's have a look. Show the camera what you wrote. And that's how we can do a little bit of mind reading with Oshan. That's good. Who's that, Bosh? <laughs> yes! Go take a seat over there for me. Good boy. Guys, I hope you've all enjoyed it. I hope we've all had a bit of fun. I'm going to leave you with one more. Something that I love that's a bit of fun. Something that, oh, Shosh, watch the tablecloth for me, please. Something that I do at weddings, guys. Something that I always have fun with. And something that it would be rude for me not to show you guys. One of the oldest tricks in the world, guys. One of my most favourite tricks I like to perform. And what I'm going to demonstrate for you, peeps, is sleight of hand and magic. And it works something like this. Inside the bag, we keep a little cup. And inside the cup, guys, we keep a little ball. We've got an orange ball. I hope you can all see the orange ball. Okay, it's just a small ball. No resemblance to myself before any of you get any funny ideas, right? Okay. The ball goes in the cup. How many have we got watching, Ash? Up in the black club. Four yards? That's alright, gosh, that's good. 
works like this. The ball goes in the cap, we tip the cap over, and that ball obviously falls out of my hand. Gravity will tell you all that the ball falls out of my hand, okay? Now what we have to watch is the cap and is the ball. When we take the ball away and the cap goes down onto the mat. We take the ball and we put the ball in the hand and the hand goes in the pocket. All you've got to do is keep your eye, guys, on the ball. And if you're keeping your eye on my hand, you're looking in the wrong place because that's called sleight of hand because the ball goes in the pocket. The hand is completely empty and the cap is completely empty. Okay? This is sleight of hand and I did say this is going to demonstrate through sleight of hand and real magic. I'll show you again. The ball, we can just about hear that Ash, on, on camera when we're all quiet, is in the cap. I think it's made of like coke and it's crocheted in whatever colour. You can get these in orange, purple, red, green. I got them in a few different colours. And of course, when we tip it over, the ball falls on the hand. Keep your eye on the ball. Keep your eye on the ball, don't take your eye off the cap. Watch the ball as the ball goes in the pocket. Now, are you all watching where the ball went? Now, what I'm doing is, at weddings, I guess some people say, well, it went in the pocket. But you'll always get somebody who will say, the ball went under the cap. Now, I assure you guys that the ball didn't go under the cap. The ball just went here in my pocket, okay? Now, this is the difference between sleight of hand, okay? And Osh, I know they can't see you on camera, but we're going to try something, okay, Osh? We're going to try demonstrating, there we are, your arms have just come into view. In fact, Osh, come and sit on this chair here for me, and maybe we can see you a little bit more on the camera. And Osh, I want you, Osh, to follow that ball for me, Osh. Because every time when the eye goes, Osh, it's never there, it's always down here. See, Osh? We've got to follow that ball, Osh. And I got you number two, Lagos, when it's down here. Oh, and this is my son, who knows this move, but he's never seen me do it with a ball. He's seen me do it with a coin. Don't mind how many times I do it, tell him where the ball is, Osh. No, it's your look, Osh. See, three times out of three, look, I can have my son. Osh, I want you to hold your hand up and I want you to take the ball, Osh. Tell him where the ball really is, Osh. It's in the pocket. Is it, Osh? Yeah. Did you see it? So there's no way Osh has seen it going to the camera. And that's, that's how we perform the real magic, Osh, okay? Now all you're going to do is play this, Osh, see? Now, I said this is going to be slight of hand and real magic, and believe me, it's not easy for me to fool my son, okay? He sees a lot of stuff I do. All you're going to do, Ash, is keep your eye on the ball. Keep your eye on the ball. Watching it, Ash, watching it, watching it, watching it, Ash. Oh, isn't that like... 50. 50 quid is in that hand. Yeah. Are you happy to gamble 50 quid? No. You should have watched because you were like, it's in that hand, and you said no. You see, Osh, this is the thing about sleight of hand. Sometimes, Osh, when I go to take the ball, where's the ball really? Nothing. No, it's here really your look, Osh, see? Sometimes, Osh, when I go to put it in that hand, it's really over your look. Sometimes, Osh, I can take it like this, Osh. I can take it in this hand, throw it up in here, Osh, rub the elbow and it drops out of this elbow. All you've got to remember, Osh, is that ball always stays in my right hand, Osh, okay? So if you take the ball from me, Osh, where's the ball? In my hand. No, it's your look, Osh, in my right hand. I did say that you've got to remember the ball stays in the right hand. I'm always asked, do you use two balls during this game? I say, look, there's always just the one small. But you know the bit that everybody misses, Osh? Is the big ball, Osh. How the hell does the big ball end up under the cap, Osh? Did you see that? Mm -hmm. Do you know what we call that, Osh? Spongeball. It's called a sponge ball. And do you know what we can do with sponge balls? What you need for a sponge ball, Osh, is an invisible purse. Have you seen an invisible purse? Mm -hmm. If you take a sponge ball, you've never seen an invisible purse. Nobody's ever seen an invisible purse. Do you know why, Osh? Mm. Yeah, because it's invisible. Did you see that? Mm. It becomes invisible, look, Osh. Woo! Do you see it? You take the invisible purse, you put the sponge ball in, Osh. You give it a close. Kirsty, seen my friend Steve Ashcroft up in North Wales doing something with one the other day. And what Kirsty doesn't know is I've been using this in my walk around routine for quite a long time now. But we like to keep some things reserved, see, Kirst? But just for you lot, now you're seeing it. Osh, when you reach your point, out comes one, and out comes two, <laughs> inside the invisible purse. We'll pull that away from later on, Osh, that's the invisible purse. Now Osh, I want you to take two hands like this, keep them in view so the camera can see them, that's okay Osh, that's fine. Keep them apart from me Osh, and you just keep, keep focused at me, just like this Osh, and just curl your fingers up. Now Osh, two balls, slightly damp because I had to get them back to shape. 
but that's fine. Tip for you guys, I don't know whether you ever realise that. If you've got something made of sponge and it's out of shape, run it under the cold water tap, rinse it out, and it'll bounce back to shape. Just think of your bath when you wash yourself with a sponge. For those who use a sponge and on a flannel or one of those big bouncy run things that the women like to use, and it brings it back to shape, okay? We're going to try this on. Just keep your hands open so the camera can see your hands, okay? We're going to call these yours and mine. Now, Ash, if I told you I was going to take yours and you were going to keep mine, that would be called the magician influencing the spectator. In fact, Ash, come up here a sec. Come up and join us, Ash. Just watch the clock because my drink is there. I want you to face the camera just like this, okay? Can you both see, can you all see Ash and hands? Where he's got one ball here and one ball here. Okay, Ash, you can decide which is yours and which is mine. Mm -hmm. You are also going to decide which one I take and which one you keep. In fact, I'll put the one you were going to keep, I'll put it into the empty hand that I take the other one out of. Osh, do I take yours or do I take mine? But before you make your mind up, Osh, <laughs> think about it. It's an important decision. Because if we don't get it right, Osh, that's when the soul in an half box comes out. No, it's all right, Osh, it's okay. Right, do I take yours or do I take mine? Yours. I don't want to take yours, Osh, I want to take mine. Because if I take mine, you've got yours, and if you've got yours, I've got mine, and then we both got each other's. You can have mine. I don't want to have mine, I don't want to have yours. Oh my god. What's the matter? I don't know. You don't know? I have yours. But that's not yours, that's mine. Oh what? my god. But that, if that was mine, that would be yours. But then you would have called our mine, and that one would be yours. Wouldn't it? I'll show your hands up like this, nice and firm. Look, Osh, I don't know whose one this one is, but we're all going in that hand. <laughs> whose is this one? Mine. Hold that one tight for me. Put that hand over the top. Put huh? that hand over the top. Like that, like that. You just stand there. To the right, to the right, to the right. And we're going to try this, Osh. Through the power of the dining table, we're going to try this. Stand next to the dining table like that, Osh. Watch. Watch, Osh. Watch. Watch. Three, two, gone. Did you see it? Whoa! Did you see it jump? Did you feel it land, Osh? Have a look in your hands. <laughs> it don't make no sense, does it? Don't make no sense, does it? Hold it in your hands again, Osh. Okay, ready? Yeah. Watch. We made it easier. We pulled out our hands. We put our hands in the sand. We put magic ashes down in the pocket. Which one went in the hand and which one went in the pocket? Our hands went in the hand. Right? Magic Watch this, Osh. Did you see that? Now that's magic ashes and that's all shuns. Watch this, Osh. Watch. Did you see that? Now that's all shuns and that's magic ashes. I know, Osh, it doesn't make sense, but I've never made sense, Osh, ever since I've been doing magic. But you know one thing, Osh? I always know to make you smile and make you laugh. And that's good. Going on current times. Which one went in the hand? Osh. No, it didn't, Osh. No, it didn't, Osh. Did you not see it going to the cap? What? I mean, if you went under the cap, that would be good, yeah? yeah? Just stand back just a little bit for me. Did you see it go under the cap? No. You didn't? No. Do you know why you didn't see it go under the cap? No. Because what went under the cap? Gosh, was the golf ball up. Quick, go grab it for me. Quick. Did you see the golf ball? No. You didn't see the golf ball? No. You need to open your eyes, mind. No. I mean, how did you miss the golf ball that was I did getting the tennis ball? Hmm? No, I mean, it was I did getting the tennis ball. That was the golf ball. That was the tennis ball. <laughs> Guys, I hope you've all enjoyed this evening. I hope I put a smile on your face wherever you are. It's really helped me as well, guys. It's made me take my mind off things. Until the next time, I'm Magic Ash. Ma Magic Ash? Magic Ash. God bless you all. Stay safe. Stay out of trouble. And fingers crossed, guys, if we all do what we got to do, this blinking thing will pass very, very soon, and life will be back to normal. From the bottom of my heart, I love each and every one of you. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you all soon. Take care, guys. All the best from me. Take care.